Hello, hello. How are you doing today, Fun One? It's, uh, it's really cool that you were able to jo join us today. As I've said a million times, huge fan. Yesterday, we kind of went on a little spree of watching some of your older work. Oh, really? Like what? Well, I'm like, hmm, 20, it felt like wine and stuff. Like, hmm, 2016, 2017, that was a good year. Good, good pairing. 2020, they can't go wrong. Yeah, pretty but, good vintage, yeah. Yeah, good vintage. I didn't go into all of the beginnings. For instance, Goofy. Ah, yes. Uh, I've had a long, a long legacy of interesting things in my, in my lifetime. I've always enjoyed, I mean, you've, you've entered so many people's, what, lexicon? Is, does that ever, like, like, surprise you to hear that, pe like, some of your quotes are, like, in people's everyday conversation? I'm flattered, honestly. I mean, for me, and I think a lot of us, you know, ridiculous things from, like, dumb memes and YouTube videos just enter my lexicon, too. So if I, uh... Am a part of someone else's lexicon? That's a high honor. I'm always very flattered to hear it. Chat, be good. Oh my god. <laughs> my goodness, is there is, is Chat being naughty? They are. They're wondering where your avatar is. They're a little. They're a little nervous. Chat, this what, is what, called. What? We're we're touching grass right now. We're we're talking ah. to humans in the world. That's right. <laughs> we are never naughty. That's true. That's never happened. Good to know. Yeah, good. This is a good, wholesome... Um, I'm safe for work only, so I wouldn't want any sort of naughty business going on. I mean, honestly, when I think of you, though, one of the first videos that jumps up is Goofy <laughs> explaining sex to... to ah, yes. To Maxie. Yeah. And so, I mean, sure. I guess that's not the most safe for work. <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes I do. Well, I'm a trillion years old, and uh, some people in here were born after the times of Vine. Wow. I'm gonna crumble to dust <laughs> by you saying that. But, okay. I do. Do you want to like delve into? Cause like I feel like that's where you really first began. Like some people started in Newgrounds. I feel like Vine is where. Yeah. I mean, I think I got my start start on Tumblr actually doing uh, shit posts on Tumblr, and then the Vine sort of spun from that, and then that sort of spun into YouTube. Were you a super who luck? Uh, I was not a super who luck, but oh. I'm familiar with the term. Uh, where where in Tumblr were you were you d dwelling? I mean, I. It's it's still up. I mean, I had a voice acting Tumblr prosy mm. voice. And yeah, I just, this was back when uh, nobody knew who I was and I just wanted to be a voice actor and I didn't know how to get into that. So I just started that Tumblr and I, this was maybe 12 years ago, but uh, I knew I wanted to do voice acting. So I, I'm gonna make this Tumblr. I'm gonna post an audio post once a day just to practice, not miss a day. And I did it for, I wanna say three, four years without missing a single day, just to get better at it, practice and then um yeah eventually worked out i guess i owe everything i think to me making that decision quite a grind like like D did you die? Did I die? <laughs> did you, did uh, I think sometimes I was like, man, is anything ever gonna come from this? But ultimately, I was just like, I, I, I just want to do this. Maybe, and maybe I died a little inside. Did you always want to be a voice actor? For a long time, I think in high school, I did. Um, my, my friend would write these radio plays, and he would cast all of us to do the voices as friends. And I think that was when I really fell in love with acting, uh, like voice acting. And even before that, as a kid I was always really interested in voice actors like I had I was that kid who I would recognize a voice actor and a thing and go oh and then I would look at I would watch the credits at the end this was before streaming and YouTube so I literally had to like wait till the credits of a show and then just like maybe like just read as fast as I could and go oh that's so and so so I kind of had this sort of ear for it not thinking I would ever do it and then high school is when I became interested in the job itself yeah I guess like so many people that all their directions like oh I want to be an astronaut oh I want to be a famous a chef and you're like I want to do anime. Were you part of anime club? I uh -oh. was actually never part of an anime club surprisingly. I feel like I wasn't like I was a little low-key about my weeb weebdom in high school. Ah. Um, although like my my BFF and still my BFF from high school he and I talk about anime all the time and whenever I tell people this story they're always like this sounds made up but he was on the football team and I saw I think he was reading Inuyasha. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew <laughs> it. I knew it. In a in a class, and I was I like went over. It was like, oh, duh. you like, oh yeah, Inuyasha. That's pretty cool. And that's how our friendship started. I think we all can thank Inuyasha for for various things. I think uh, Inuyasha and my vocal love 
of it definitely contributed to my uh, unpopularity in middle school. It was very small, very small, and then I'm the one who's like, I think Sashoru could beat up Goku, and also he has a nice ass. And it was like, are you talking about cartoons? You were attracted to You were just ahead of your time. I was ahead. Yeah. Your culture, you were too cultured for them. Now, now it's, you are finally recognized for your culture. It's very strange. Cause I remember when I was a weekender, like, oh, you play video games? Ew. But if you played like FIFA or Madden, it's like, well, that's fine. That's, that's just practicing sports on a, on a picture box. But games right. were still kind of discouraged socially way back yeah. when, but fast forward and you are in so many things. Your anime brought you all the way up to AAA games. No, yeah, it, it's very, surreal to think about, but yeah. It's been a pretty uh, wild ride, I guess. It's wild. I wasn't a gamer until a uh, career, and when I started playing uh, God of War, as soon as I heard the squirrel, I said, "Wait a minute! Mm. I know that voice. You're you're in so many things, and, it, and it's just like, oh, you you have quite a range." Thank you. Appreciate oh. that. No problem. If you had any anime crushes growing up or now, is it the same person, or 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 like, would it surprise us? My anime crushes. Mm -hmm, um. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I mean, like child. But anime crush was like Misty from Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I feel like Kagome was definitely one back in high school. I'm trying to think, who were some of yours? Ryoko. <laughs> from Tenchi, Tenchi Muyo. Muyo. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, Ryoko and 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 uh, also Misty. And okay, yeah. I mean, early days, there wasn't too much to pick from. You either had a, a Adult Swim, which we have Tom and all of them to thank for making a generation of anime fans. But, oh yeah, Sailor Mars, thank you. Yeah, they, uh -huh. I, we were beholden to, uh, oh, it's Saturday morning at like 2 a.m. We're gonna get one of those anime shows coming on for a half hour. What are what are your favorite genres? Of anime? Yeah. Slice of life, for sure. I love a good slice of life anime, a good sports anime. I'm actually not, when I was younger, I was really into shonen. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't dislike it, but it's not what I necessarily seek out, besides like One Piece. Hunter Ooh, times like Hunter. Oh yeah, Hunter Hunter is good. I like Hunter Hunter. So funny, when you work in anime, you end up watching less anime? Uh, no, actually. No? I think a lot of my, a lot of my peers feel that way. They're like, oh, I don't, I don't watch anime anymore because I have to work in it. I'm like, no, I'm gonna watch anime until the day I die, I'm sorry. <laughs> It has not. It has not changed my anime viewing habits at all. Of your human life, how many hours have gone into anime? Mine's not fully up to date. Actually, it's pretty up to date. Looks like I've spent literally 78 days of my my existence watching anime. Yeah, that's not bad. Exactly, bad. absolutely, Ty Wells. But ah, uh, what are well, what is your favorite anime? Honestly, it's it's. I mean, default Ghost in the Shell. But now for anything that's not Ghost in the Shell, my next life is a villainous and B stars. B stars is great. I really like B stars. Thank you, everyone. Right. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, er, bye. Bye.